Do you ever wake up in the morning already feeling down before you've even got out of bed? If you do, I have six steps that are really going to help you. Hi, my name's Christine L. Conroy. Welcome to Happy Stuff and Fluff, a channel for women who are getting happy, living longer and growing younger. So do you ever wake up in the morning feeling down before you've even started your day? Tell me in the comments box down below if you've ever experienced that. Okay, what I'm going to do is, is give you six steps that are going to make you feel better straight away. There's lots of reasons why you might wake up in that kind of mood, as it were. And I'm not necessarily talking about wildly anxious thoughts. I'm just talking about feeling down or lethargic, or yes, possibly even a little bit anxious. Um, this is what I want you to do. When you feel that feeling in your tummy as you awake, I do not want you to lie in bed churning over whatever's going on in your mind. I want you to sit up straight away, straight away, and let's jump into our steps. Number one, I want you to start with breath work. What I want you to do is sit on the end of the bed with your feet firmly on the floor, and I want you to do the Conroy breath, which is in through your belly. And so breathe in, push your tummy out, and then out let your shoulders drop but what I want you to do is count the breath in and count the breath out so if you do four breaths in one two three four and six breaths out if you can one two three four five six if you can't do four and six do uh, three and five or whatever's comfortable for you, but make the out breath longer than the in breath. And I want you to focus on counting and focus on your breath. What this is gonna do is gonna bring you into the moment. It's gonna break the pattern of whatever it is that's going on in your head, cut into the thoughts, break the pattern and get you back into the present moment focused on counting your breath. Now, when you've done that for a few rounds and you're back into the present moment, I want you to stay in the present moment and do number two, which is prepare yourself some green tea with lemon. With lemon. Now, there are hundreds of health benefits to green tea. I'm sure you all know that. But with lemon, it's boosted even more. For our benefits, what this is going to do, it's going to get your metabolism going and it's going to increase your energy. So focus on actually making the tea. Don't go back to your thoughts. You're in the present moment. You've done your breathing. You're now making the tea. Then I want you to do number three, which is to go outside. Irrespective of the weather, you need to go outside to capture some of that early morning daylight. Now, whether you are fortunate enough to live in a climate where there are bright blue sunny skies or, like me, where the sky is likely to be covered in grey cloud, it doesn't matter. You need to get outside, put your coat on if you have to, to drink your tea. Get out into that early morning light because this kind of, the quality of light is different in the morning. It's got a, a kind of blue light to it, a blue rich light that stimulates mood and energy and will set you up for the day. Now, if you can, do number four. Take off your shoes. And this might sound a bit odd to you. You might even feel odd doing it. I promise you, it works. Take your shoes off and walk around the garden if you can. This is called grounding, connecting with the earth in your bare feet. The electrical charges in the earth are said to have a positive effect on your body. As I say, it's called grounding. I haven't done too much research into the science of this, but from experience, it makes me feel better. And let's face it, even if it doesn't do much for you, trying it a few days, trying it for a few days first, it's not going to do you any harm, is it? Never give up without giving something a few days first before you can say whether it's working for you or not. Okay, then you come back indoors once you've finished your green tea and then you're going to go um, presumably into your bathroom to start your day, brushing your teeth, getting washed while you're in there. High five yourself in the mirror 
look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you've got this. This, this is per or as instructed by Mel Robbins, who's the author of the book, High Five Habits. I'm going to link the book down below. It's another one of these um, tools, if you like, that's incredibly simple, but incredibly powerful. So have a look at the book, get the book if you can. Um, but if not, have just try high-fiving yourself in the mirror and looking straight at yourself. You've got this. You're now ready to start your day. Finally, number six, go back downstairs and prepare my power breakfast. If you don't know what the power breakfast is, I'm going to leave a link down below so that you can make the power breakfast and set yourself up for your day. Now, get out there, take action on the things that are in your control and forget the things that are not. Okay, did you hear that? I said, get out there to start your day, taking action on the things that are in your control and forgetting about those things which are not. Okay, so number one, do the breath work. Number two, make yourself some green tea with lemon. Number three, go outside. Number four, go barefoot. Number five, give your high five, give yourself a high five in the bathroom mirror. And number six, start your day by eating my power breakfast. And I promise you, your mood will have lifted and you'll be ready to kickstart your day the right way. Let me know how you get on. I would love to know. In the meantime, if you celebrate Easter, have a lovely break. Happy Easter to you. Easter is all about new beginnings. And as I think, if you've been with me for a long time, you know, it's also the time for me to set new goals or to start things new, do new things. Big things happening in my life. I'll tell you about that the next time we meet. As I say, Happy Easter, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.